welcome to today's video and on today's video i'm going to show you how to design uniquely on our microsoft design tool so this is actually an application that allow you to design making use of an ai so we are going to be challenged to be creating a particular um image or design or we can call it anyone this is actually a carton of my recent usb that i bought and i want to be showing you guys how to create something like this on your uh on your microsoft designer too i know that this might look impossible but it's actually possible so let's get started with it go ahead and download your microsoft um application which is this and then go ahead and download another application called pixel lab Pixel Lab can also create this particular image for us perfectly well, but do not worry guys, we can do this making use of our Microsoft Designer because there is also some information and some things that Microsoft Designer can do that our uh, Pixel Lab cannot do. So let's start using the Pixel Lab. So go ahead and create any um start using any image to do your design but just make sure that the image size should be exactly what you want this is actually an instagram size i think so yes it is so i'm going to choose that once you click on that it's going to display right here so i'm going to click on generate design so it's going to generate a different design for us and we can choose from anyone to start with guys do not pay attention to whatever image is showing you just just pay attention to the size of the image even the size is also not important so the first thing i want to do is to delete the test and now i'm going to delete the images by clicking and deleting i'm deleting everything on the stage okay i cannot delete this because that is actually a canvas and is just a color so i can delete this also all right so now we can now change our canvas color to black which is okay and if you do not find black color there is actually a way to go about it now the next thing we actually need to do is to add our header now um, to add the header we just need to add our graphics by clicking on the graphics image but before i start this guys just for some reason if you are not okay with the size that you are giving right here right you can go ahead and change it by clicking on this three dotted icon let me be sure that you know where i clicked this top area go ahead and click on it click on the three dotted icon and then choose resize now from here you can choose any size you want either from linkedin facebook or paper um paper size a4 us whichever size they are all here but if you can't find anyone you can always create a custom one so i am going to close that and i'm going to continue so the next one i'm going to be adding our shape so um for the shape i hope you saw where i clicked on for the shape just click on add graphics so when you click on add graphics it's going to bring you to this area on default it's going to display the illustration for you but i'm actually going to choose the second option which is shape so once i click on shape it's going to display this is actually the shape that i want and you notice i can bring it here and get the perfect um arrangement that i want but now another issue is it's not giving me um a friendly color that i want but it can only give me the recommended color that it wants me to use which is actually not cool and we can always select this to still change um, our layout if you want whenever you click on this area it gives you an option to change that um, layout and design but then it doesn't actually give us an option to change the image so that is actually how where um, our pixel lab comes in or our pixel lab comes in so if you have pixel lab you can actually design um, an image or design a vector and actually save it up so i'm going to click on continue and then i'm going to click on this plus icon and select shape and then this shape is actually okay so this is the radius below i can now add the radius pay attention to this area is actually reducing so you can just choose this to the um, exact size that you want reduce the height by clicking from the bottom you can see this is actually perfect uh rather i think this is okay now the next thing you need to do is to click on this confirm icon confirm that and then come to this area sorry this one second to the last and then make it transparent so once it's transparent um 
click on this layer area to confirm there is nothing more on the stage if you see any other thing apart from this your shape go ahead and choose delete and it will be deleted because usually whenever you start you will see a test so just click on the delete icon on the test and it will be deleted anytime you delete by mistake just click on this undo icon on the top area just before the plus icon and it will be restored so to save your image we actually have to color it before we save it so come back to this area this is actually the um, section for your shape area so now go ahead and locate color enable the color and then give it the color that you want so it's actually um, an orange color which is this but if this color is not perfect enough for you you can click on this plus icon right here click on the plus icon to actually choose your color from the mixer so i'm going to make it a, a very dim yellow and you can also toggle this and pay attention to this area so if you don't also guys if you have the color code you can always paste the color code here which is the hexa color code and it will be active so if you don't click on ok i think i'm okay with this click on save and make sure you click on save image not project and also make sure that you have this saved on png so if it's on png it's going to be transparent so once you're done with that go ahead and click on save and your image will be exported and do not worry about this this is just an advert if you pay to remove that you are going to be using the premium version and advert is not going to be displayed but if you are using the free version it's always going to be able to save so let's come back to designer and then import our image so to import our image i'm going to click on this icon first and then i'm going to click on media and there you go this is actually the image right here so um it brought it but it actually came with a background so you can always remove that background by clicking on the image remover um remove bg select this other one it's going to load up and i think it's fine you cannot actually see the difference because um it's totally black so just move this to the top area where you want it to display i think it's this area but before i do that i'm going to have to delete this And then bring this up move it towards this direction and i think i'm good and then i'm going to put uh confirm and then i'm going to add the test the test is actually a block test so let's make sure that we actually get it right so make sure you have a capital letter enabled l d n i o right and then the font is also different no worry let's just focus on getting the design exactly how it should look so give that and we should also color it by selecting the color it should be white and guys there is actually something because i selected uh only two part but it's actually looking nice i'm going to leave it that way so we have that selected you know what let me sell it. let me do it exactly how it should be so um that should be fine and then the next one we actually have another shape with a test so we go back to the shape area and then we choose shape and i think is a transparent shape which is outline this is the shape and to move it just click on the image and then use this to move towards this area right but I think it's a bit smaller. It's quite small. All right. Now we actually need to put the test on it. And the test should be some digits. So click on the test. Edit the test. All right, guys. So um, I have added the test. And all of the tests are uh, included. And then I can change this one's color back to this color. And also, guys, you can also notice that this... Um, orange color was not existing among our color the reason why you can see this orange color right now is because we have actually imported uh, uh imported an image that has that color so is um the ai actually recognized that we have this image available so it made that color also available for us so we can now duplicate and reuse this color at will so um, the next thing, I actually created this uh, blank rectangle. So to create the blank rectangle, this is actually what I did. Click on the add graphics area. You click on shape and you're going to notice where it says outline. So select the outline, which is this one. 
I just brought it down and this is actually my outline. I'm going to give the outline color of white and I'm going to reduce it to proportion. So there you go. I think it's actually three. So um, instead of me creating new ones, because I actually have it, I want it to, perfectly, to be perfectly the same. Just click on the image and duplicate it and then just bring it to proportion. Then duplicate it once more. Then you bring it. But I think this is actually uh, a bit bigger than the image, right? Because it's already longer than what I want. So I actually want to delete this and then resize the image. And then on this top area, I actually added a line, this area, right? I added a line there. So to add a line, all you need to do is to click on your graphics area, click on the shapes, and you can see the lines here. Click on the lines, it's going to look weird. Just zoom in, pinch with your two thumb, pinch in and it's going to zoom in. Zoom in to where you want with your two thumbs and then click on it once and move it to the line where you want it. I want it to start from here and then I want it to end right here. So choose exactly where you want it to be and go ahead and color it. I'm just trying to stretch it a little bit and then give it a white color. Yeah, we are good to go right here. So now we are going to work on this. I'm going to reduce the size of this by deleting these images, um, sorry, these uh, shapes, and then resizing the first one first, reduce the size. I think this size is actually okay. Click on it and then duplicate it three times. So um, after duplicating it, I actually have to move it to align. Now there is no ruler, but image we just snap we might not get it perfectly right but it's going to be very close to accurate so um, scroll down a little there is enough space so we have actually have to add the important one um, click on shapes again click on shapes and then it's actually a rounded image guys this is actually very um, you have to be creative with this one Reduce the size. Oh, guys, this is transparent. Choose the shape once more. Choose an outline. Bring it down. I already have a shape. Instead of me bringing it down, I'm going to create a new one. All right. Now, resize. So this is actually a bit bigger than the uh, previous ones. So the resize is okay. Bring it down a little. Now, um, this is actually a yellow color. Color lelo. So um, add another shape. And this time we are going to add an over. And it's a field color. Bring it down, resize it, and it's not actually a perfect cycle, so we are going to make it look like this. And it's the same color. Move this a little bit to fit in. Make sure it doesn't look weird. Because right now is looking a bit weird. Yes, I think this is okay. So now we can put in the test and put in the image. So guys, this is actually it. Every other thing you can do is just you being creative with this particular application. I think we have actually done um, achieving the main image, but all of these tests can always come in and adding the test is just going to make it look uh, obviously off. But if you are able to do this, I think you can work on just about any design. And then um, let me go ahead and this design can also be changed or request for ideas from Microsoft. But actually, uh, Microsoft is totally off. It doesn't actually know what to recommend. So 
Guys, uh, let me know if you have any question or if there is anything you also need to cover. And do not forget, this is also a question from somebody. So most of the things you can do on your Canva, you can also do it here. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, don't forget to smash like and subscribe to the channel for more video. I will see you on my next video. Peace.